adding up to 20. We see here a problem with a blank in the middle. So we need to figure out what 8 plus something equals 13. So let's use the beads above to make this problem easier. So first let's count to 8 with the beads. So that would be right to this point. And now we need to count to 13. So from 8 and then it goes 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's make a line right here. So now we just have to count the beads in the middle between the 8 and the 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, 8 plus 5 equals 13. Now, we can also turn this problem around using subtraction. So we write 13 first and then minus the 8. This also equals 5. So therefore, we know the problem was correct. Okay, let's do another problem. We see 8 plus something equals 16. Now, let's look at the string of beads again. Let's find the point of 8. So 8 would be right here. And then let's count from 8 to 16, which would be to here. So now we just need to count the middle. So let's count those beads from between 8 and 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, 8 plus 8 equals 16. So again, let's do subtraction to check our problem. So 16 minus 8 also equals 8. Therefore, we know our answer was correct. Okay, one more problem. Here we see 9 plus something equals 16. So let's go right into subtraction this time. 16 minus 9 equals 7. So now let's check the problem using the string of beads. So let's count to 9. So that would be right here, 9 beads, and then to 16. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore we know 9 plus 7 equals 16. Wonderfully done, and keep up the great math work.